Hosanna to the name of the Most High God. The Lord bless you. The face of the Lord shine upon you. This is your brother Bernard. I welcome you to another edition of our daily devotion. Please, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, help us. Let us spread this word across the globe. Hit the red subscription button and the Lord bless you. Let's see the book of Psalms 126 from verse 4 and 6. I'm reading from the message translation of the Bible. And now, God, do it again. Bring rains to our drought-stricken lives. So those who planted their crops in despair will shout yes at the harvest. So those who went off with heavy hearts will come home laughing with arms loads of blessing. I want to speak briefly on what I have captioned O oh Lord, do it again. O oh Lord, do it again. Yes, do it again means God has done it before. And if he has done it before, he still has the ability to do it again and again and again. God has not given us a limitation to how far he will be of help to us. He always answers our prayers when we call upon him. Like Jeremiah 33 verse 3 says, Call upon me. There's no time frame. Anytime I am available to answer you and grant you your heart desires. Lord, do it again. You may not have the slightest clue on how God will do it, on when he will do it, and how he will do it. But be rest assured that he will do it again. Hebrews 13 verse 8. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Let me quickly remind you of a man called David. In 1 Samuel chapter 17 and verse 37, the Bible says, David said, The God that deliver me from the lion and the bear shall deliver me from this uncircumcised Philistine. What gave David courage was the fact that he was able to recount his victory over the lion and the bear. So anytime you are able to sit down and recount how God took you from the deep waters, how he took you from the burning fire, then you'll be able to stand firm and know that this current situation, he will do it again. He can take you out of this. God has the ability. He is capable. He is mighty to deliver you from whatever situation you find yourself in. Be rest assured that he can do it again. If he has done it before, he can do this one. And he's ready to do even the future things that are coming your way. Always know that the Lord is on your side, no matter what you are going through. This is the word of the Lord for today. I remain your brother, Bernard. I see you soon as the Lord lives. Stay under the canopy of God's grace and his mercies. The Lord do it again in your life. Shalom.